Good morning, everybody. It is Monday. Boo for Monday. But I am doing something incredibly exciting today. I am super, super excited for this. I never did this and I never had one. Holy cow, my hair. I never um, owned anything like this um, and I've never made anything like this. And so I decided to try to do this DIY project. It is a Montessori toy for infants and I am so excited. So um, this is what I'm working on. I know it doesn't look like anything yet, but it is going to be awesome. So just you wait and see what this turns out like. I am going to be doing a DIY tutorial on how I did this if you want to make one yourself. It's really not difficult as at all <clears throat> um, as long as you have somebody or something that can cut wood for you. Now if you go to Lowe's or like Home Depot, they'll cut, they'll cut wood for you. Um, so that's basically what I did. Um, I just had them cut wood for me and then um, I did have my dad help me a little bit but I have like a drill for holes um, my dad drilled holes in this for me as well but I have a drill for holes I have all the tools to do this but um, I just went over to my parents house and used their stuff to do it but oh, I'm so excited so anyway you're gonna see what this whole thing is gonna look like and it'll be done by the end of the day I'm just working on painting it and doing some minor details and I have um, I have some um, rope that I need to find so I can't find it I might have to go out and get some rope in order to finish this but we'll see so this was really dumb of me I couldn't find any painters tape so I was like well, I'll just use electrical tape you know I've got a bunch of that around so I stuck it on there I just pulled off one of them and look it left a mark ah uh, but that's okay, I already thought in my head how I'm gonna fix it and it's gonna be super, super cute. So I just, I do have to go to the store today. I really didn't want to, but in order to finish this today, I will have to go to the store today, so yay. But that's okay. There's a craft store that's like almost walking distance from here, so I'm just gonna do that. Um, and that'll fix this issue, thankfully. So yeah, but oh, I can't wait for it to be done. All right guys, so now um, I'm gonna get ready to put Kaylee down for her nap and I'm gonna clean up the living room and I'm basically going to take every single article of baby clothing that we have in this house and dump it out in our living room and sort it um, the reason I'm gonna do that is because there were things that were like fitting for one kid and weren't fitting for the other and then we had like stuff that was in season and stuff that was out of season for one kid and not the other and then all of my totes and all of my organization stuff ended up just getting mixed together it's a huge mess Kaylee what is your problem What's your problem? You're fine. Eat your popsicle. They're just eating ice popsicles, essentially. Um, oh my gosh. If everybody in this house could just like, not scream, not bark. Go. What are you doing? Are you, you wanna go in or you wanna stay out? You can go out? Okay, go out. Oh goodness. Okay, now you just came in. When it gets really hot and really cold, our doors stick. All right, let's do that so you guys can actually see. Anyway, um, so I'm gonna sort through everything because it's just like one giant jumbled up mess. And then I'm going to, um, anything that's like newborn size that now isn't fitting Everly, I'm going to start tagging for a consignment sale that we have here. We have this huge consignment sale um, and things sell really well there. So I'm gonna start tagging the newborn clothes and then I'm gonna get the all of the clothes that are zero to three months out and start seeing what I can use and what I can't use because like I said, it's off season. So like, you know, um, Kaylee was born in December and Everly was born in June. And so all of our clothes now, and Madeline was born in September. So like everything that Everly needs to wear is not in season. Like everything that is in her size that I have is not in season. So I had to figure out if I have to go buy more clothes or if I have anything that's gonna fit her. So like right now I'm just like cycling through like four or five onesies that I just randomly found that are working for her. But I think most everything that I have that is zero to three is like flannel and long sleeve and like winter stuff. So I'm gonna have to just kind of sort through everything and see what I wanna get rid of, what I wanna keep. Um, we're not really planning on having any more. I always wanted four kids, but I think we're probably done. Um, but I still want to like get stuff out of the house. Even if we decide later on that we want to have a fourth, I just, I need to get stuff out of the house because I have so much clothing and I never got rid of any of it, um, for all three kids so far. So I just, I need to start getting rid of stuff 
and I need to sort through stuff that like is gross too because um, all of my kids now have reflux. The older two had colic. Thankfully, Everly hasn't developed it yet, but they had colic. So they were like crying all the time and they were spitting up and Madeline was on soy. So anything that she had is like bright yellow. Like it's so stained, it's so gross. And I know there's still some of that stuff floating around in there that I just kept just to have it like at home in case I needed it. Um, and so there's a lot of stuff that I need to throw away also. So anyway, that is, the deal there so it's gonna be a huge project I think it's gonna take like all of nap time it's gonna be like two or three hour project because I just have that much crap so anyway let's do that all right so this is our current situation we are sorting away we've got newborn 0 to 3 3 to 6 6 to 9 9 to 12 12 to 18 18 to 24 24 2 T and 3 4 T and a screaming baby um, this is only about a third of the stuff to sort through. There's still some stuff in Maddie's closet, but that's everything that's up here. There's two loads of laundry downstairs. Apparently the dogs like this. Two loads of laundry downstairs and I've got like four trash bags outside. So I'm back there is like all the bedding and socks. Good job, Maddie. Good job. This little one just pooped through her diaper up the front of the diaper, didn't you? You did? And look at this nonsense. <laughs> Maddie, are you helping? Are you helping? Oh, you got a tag, don't you? So that's done. Are you glad that's done? Mm -hmm. So let's see. The stuff over there that's in the hallway is um, three to six and six to nine. And then everything else is in our closet. There's laundry like down on the little landing down there that needs to be washed and there's two loads of laundry in right now that need to be sorted but then that's it it's all done Woo! needed to be done um so what do you think you think 18 to 24 was our biggest other than um the colic pile the stuff that had to be thrown away because it was colic which uh, actually gets donated to this place who will do something with it i'm not sure but we're gonna donate that. And uh, yeah, and then I'm gonna start working on selling our newborn stuff. And then probably by the time the consignment sale comes around, we'll probably be selling the zero to three as well. But we don't have a whole lot of that. So there's some of our smaller ones, mostly because, well, those would be bigger, don't you think? I mean, if we didn't have the colic pile, definitely then the, the zero to three and like the three to six and getting into like the nine months would be a lot bigger because all that stuff was destroyed with colic, so. And then a lot of it is stuff that she can't wear because it's the wrong season, so I might have to like rebuy a lot of that, but we'll see. Is that fun, Carrie? So I took Kaylee with me to the store. This is like a surplus store. What is that? Yeah. Is it cool? Okay, let's keep going. We keep going? She seriously is like having a blast. Okay, you don't want that to fall on you. Okay, let's keep going. We need to go get some ribbons somewhere, okay? Keep going. Let's go. Go, go, go. I should check to see if they have any um, electrical tape for guard but it's basically a surplus store so everything's like really really super discounted
pepper. Hot pepper. Kiwi. Kiwi. Hey, kiwi. Uh oh, kiwi. Come on. Yeah. You wanna put it down? Okay, go put it back. Uh oh. Put yeah, put it in there. Okay, let's go. Come on. Yellow pepper. Kiwi. I don't know which one that is. Some kind of chili pepper, maybe? Does it say on it? Let's see. Let me see it. Oh, it's kind of stuck, isn't it? There we go. Yeah, chili pepper. Burgundy chili pepper. What's this one considered? Yellow. 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 Are they considering that? The green chili pepper? It kind of looks like a poblano to me, but what do I know? green pepper. It's great Montessori resources right there, aren't they, Kaylee? Okay, yeah. okay, don't throw it. Maybe we'll come back and get some of those. My goodness. So much fun. We're home and it's taco time. Ready for tacos? Taco time. Are you making tacos? You're making a mess of your tacos. That's okay, everyone does. But you're doing so good. They're yummy, aren't they? You put some beans on it? Yep, she put a bean on it. You put a bean on it? A bean. And you are just a mess in general. Literally a single bean. <laughs> a single bean. <laughs> Good job, Maddie. Yummy tacos. All right, it's time to finish this project. guys I'm in my bedroom taking pictures up against our um, closet door because it's the only place that I've got like a nice solid surface kind of solid with the wood floor but oh, I'm so excited with how this turned out look at how beautiful this is oh I'm so excited so um, these I can take on and off if I need to um, this actually like unscrews and I just tied them for now um, instead of putting hooks on them I can I'll probably put hooks on them later but I didn't have any for right now um, so anyway these are all wood pieces um, this one's just like a bunch of wood pieces around in a circle and this one looks like this my kids sound thrilled out there with daddy um, anyway like that um, and I did test them to make sure that like none of these can come off like I put like all my force down on this and they're not coming off um, and then I have these here because it is collapsible. So that way I can store it. And then um, the ropes and the beads on the end, make sure that it doesn't go out too far so that it won't collapse on top of her. Cause if those weren't there, this could just fold out completely flat and it could fall on top of her. So that prevents that from happening. But anyway, there is my little play set. You can buy these on Etsy for like $50. I was not all about that. so. Um, I'll make a little tutorial on how I did this. It's super easy, um, but just for now, just to kind of explain it, I went to Lowe's and I bought um, these beams. Now you can get, I forget how long, how big it was. Um, I'm gonna get like an eight foot, I think it was eight feet, um, an eight foot beam. And I had them cut them in 24 inch sections. Um, and then you just get these cut, um, I forget exactly, I'll 
have to put it here somewhere, um, what the angle was. I can't remember exactly what the angle was. Um, I'll have to get that and let you guys know what the angle was. Um, but you get it just cut at the angle. And then you just put the screws in through here and that allows it to swivel. Um, just put it straight in through here, but you can also like unscrew that if you want to. Um, the other option is if you want is that you can drill a hole through and just like lay this through the hole um, instead of screwing them on. I've seen it done that way as well. Um, I bought this rod at Walmart. Um, it was like 90 cents or something like that, but you can get it at like Hobby Lobby. I think you can get them at Lowe's too, but I was just at Walmart um, at the time and I saw it, so I picked that up. These are all wood pieces that I got at Hobby Lobby. Um, just beads and I painted them myself and I just put them on um, like some nylon string here. Um, and like I said, I did just tie them and then I um, burnt the edges so that they didn't fray and I hot glued them. Do you like that? Yeah, you're testing it out for your sister? What is there to be peekabooing about that? Weirdos. You should put on the limbo song as they limbo underneath of this. <laughs> I'm just kidding. current situation. She had a long day. We played a lot today. Kaylee, are you ready for bed? She's starting to get into no. the movie. <laughs> Maddie said she wasn't tired. No, if I could get Kay to watch this She's and get tired. into it, we could at least watch The Lion King when it comes out on DVD. Yeah, well, we they might be okay to go to the movies. I don't know. I don't know if I trust that at all. Maddie might. Maybe Maddie, but I, I can't, couldn't see Kaylee yet. Kaylee, do you want to go to the movies and see The Lion King? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I just don't think we can keep her calm long enough. I think Everly would do great. Yeah, right. If I'm shaking my leg the whole time and hopefully we're sitting away from everyone. Maybe. And I heard with how big the opening weekend was, I doubt that that's going to be a possibility. Well, I guess I'm going to end the vlog here. I really wanted to get a video of her on that play mat that I made, but... I don't think she's going to wake up and play on it. So that's going to be it. We'll show it tomorrow. So good night. Oh my gosh, man. I'm so tired. Her eyes are so dark. She's tired. I truly think she needs a nap again. Probably. All right. Anyway, give this video a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. KK, can you say bye-bye? Can you say bye to the TV, to the phone? Look, the say bye, YouTube. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Blow a kiss. Love you. Bye. Bye. Bye.